How's it going? Motor City Miner here coming at you with an update based on all those unboxings. So we're going to be in Gold Squadron today because I got all these CMP 50HX cards to put in my 5600 XT rig. So I have already opened this up. Um, we're going to be taking out all of these beautiful 5600 XTs. Let's see, we got uh, 12 of them here, 8 of them are matching, and then 4 randoms. Um, but yeah, we're going to take all these out, start throwing these in. These are ordered by serial number, so that's why there's the funky stacks. Um, but yeah, we're going to hopefully get these up and running today. I don't know what we're going to mine with them yet. Um, maybe some lithium. That seems to be a good choice for the 50HX. Um, but yeah, right now the priority is just actually getting them in here, so, uh, we're going to start taking all these out here. Shouldn't take me too long here, we're just going to, to be honest, I don't have the rig. The, all the, uh, at least the eight that all look the same are going to end up in, um, in that rig that was in the unboxing. It's like a folded up chassis currently. I'm going to put them on a B85 motherboard. Um, but I have not gotten to that yet. So for now, we're just going to put our GPUs up on the shelf until I get that machine together, which will be another unboxing video. I'm not unboxing. That'll be a setup video. Um, I guess we should try and keep them in order. I guess these, these random ones don't really matter, but these are in Again, I put them all by serial number. That way, if there's a problem, I can quickly determine what one it is, check the warranty, um, ship them out, so on and so forth. So uh, this one would be the highest serial number, this guy here. And then this one at this end will be the lowest of those MSIs. And then, like I said, I should really show you guys my spreadsheet that I keep track of all my sh stuff, warranty dates, um, obviously serial numbers, dates that they started mining. That's kind of how I keep track, like, you know, um, essentially like my, uh, I can't remember what I call it in my spreadsheet. I think it's uh, active duty date or something like that. And that's just so I can know, like, hey, did I uh, ROI these cards? How long have I had them? Uh, were they, you know, did they break real quickly? Um, helps me for future buying, you know, like if a certain brand's always breaking down in a pretty short period after I start running them. So it's just kind of my way of keeping track of all that fun information. Maybe, so maybe I'll show you guys that in the future. Um, obviously, these being used, uh, there's new CMP 50HX cards. They're not going to have a warranty, but, you know, I still like to organize everything by serial numbers. So. It is what it is. Um, and again, even if it's not by serial number, at least I'll have the information for when I started mining with them. I'll just put that one over there. And... Yeah, how long did it last? I I don't know what to expect out of these, to be honest. I mean, they are pretty old at this point. So, um, but yeah, we're going to start throwing these in here. So, you are going to see what we're dealing with. These are the cards there. But yeah, this is, this is our lowest number here. So, just going to start plopping these in and uh, hopefully they get get working. Oh, I forgot I dropped, uh, doing this all one-handed, I dropped some, uh, GPU screws in here <laughs> when I was trying to undo those. So, uh, go put these on the table with the others. There we go. All right. So, yeah, these are blower style cards, um, which will work real well in a server case like this. Uh, they'll run nice and cool. Um, so kind of excited that I got server or blower style um, 
Coastal Crypto had told me they were going to be the two fan model, but ended up getting these nice guys. So, um, no complaints there. Um, so yeah, it, it's interesting on the X12, there's two slots on the motherboard and then the 10 on this uh, extension board that has that connection there. So, um, the first two will go over here, but seem to be seem to be a snug fit. All right, we're gonna keep throwing these in. I know it's kind of a boring video, I guess, just watching me put all these in. But yeah, you can see the numbers keep on rising. I already sorted them, which is nice. Now the X12 uh, doesn't have um, slots for the, I don't know what to call them. These are uh, like those tabs there, the X8s do. So um, some of these are a little bit, not too much, um, but on an X8, you would definitely have to rebend them so <laughs> you could get them in the slot. On um, the X12, it's not as important since it doesn't have uh, two little slots for those. There's a lot of airspace between these, so that's nice to see. Uh, again, these, in this case, it should run real cool. Even in this rather warm room. Can't wait to someday have like proper, proper ventilation, hot, cold aisle in all these rooms. Right now you can see like the hot aisle and cold aisle. Well, this is the hot side, that's the cold side, are one and the same. There's no wall here. But someday, someday, someday we'll do that. Get a contractor to do that. I don't really feel, well, maybe I'll do it. I don't know. I've done walls plenty of times. So it's just time. Time is the problem. Guys, I don't know how anyone has enough time in the world. I need, like, days to be 48 hours, but still have 365 in a year. And still live to the same age. That's what I need. Or a time machine. That'd be cool. Like, so I can be in, like, two places at once or something. I don't know. There's just not enough time. Ever. This one doesn't want to go in. So that's interesting. Ugh. What is its problem? Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Maybe maybe we got some junk on here. Uh, no, it looks all fine. I'm not sure why this one doesn't want to go in. Let's see what's going on down here. It's just like real, really not liking this slot, apparently. Hmm. Yeah, well, let's we'll see if that's hopefully good. Keep throwing these in. There you go, that one went in nice and easy. Um, I don't know, what else, what else about this X-12? So, the X-12s have tighter spacing than the X-8s. I think the spacing is 61 millimeters on an X-12 between cards, whereas um, on an X-8 Ultra Plus, it's 65. Um, but since these are pretty narrow cards, you know, blowers, you know, no real concerns there. So that's nice. Um, I really like the X12s from a value perspective. They, uh, you know, for pretty much the same cost, you can put 12 cards instead of eight. Now, if you have like three slot GPUs though, it could be a problem because then you can't put them every one which means you have to put every other, and then you'd only get six GPUs instead of eight. Um, so there is one scenario where you would probably be better off getting the X8 Ultra Plus, and that's if you have really, really fat cards, um, so you don't lose capacity. 
So it, it really, it, it's a good, I have a comp, I have like, you know, half and half pretty much. Half my rig, half of my Octaminers are x drops half are X8s. Um, unfortunately, I wouldn't really buy from Octaminer right now just because they have gone MIA for many months now. Lots of orders stuck in limbo, um, including some of the stuff that I have ordered. So definitely don't recommend buying Octaminers at the moment. Unless you buy from a third party that has them in stock. Um, I'll put some links down below, but definitely uh, reach out to them and check the stock before buying. Uh, because even the third party sellers I've talked to cannot seem to get a hold of Octobiner. So um, make sure they have stock before you buy. Or uh, you could always use GPU risers who have the R8, which is pretty much an X8 Ultra Plus. Um, so that's a good competitor um, option. Um, but yeah, so all these are in here. I'm going to screw these all in, and then we're going to hop back, make sure it boots up, um, check it on the PC, and go from there. So be right back. All right, we, we are ready to go. Got all our cables managed. Got them all lined up. We just got to plug in the power. So let's do this. We're going to... Swap hands here. Hopefully it boots. We're gonna go walk out to the computer. It does seem to have at least turned on and we have power. No idea if it booted. So we're gonna head out to the computer and check it out. And just like that, CMP50 HXs are fully loaded. Look at that. Looking good. Pretty excited about this. So, um, I'm going to button up, you know, close up the top of the case. I don't know what we're going to mine yet. Like I said, I'm thinking a lithium, which is what I was actually mining with the 5600 XTs, just because it's low power. Um, but, um, yeah, not, not sure yet. But glad we got that up and running. Uh, thanks, Coastal Crypto, for these 50 HXs. Maybe I'll get some more. Who knows? Um, but yeah, that's about it for today. So, you know, comment down below. Do you have any CMP cards, you know, dedicated NVIDIA cards uh, for mining? Um, comment down below. Love to hear about it. Um, like, subscribe. And that's all I got today from the farm. Until next time.